All right, we start with our tropical satellite here, looking at Kurt, which is a hurricane, and also Leslie here. And then in addition to that, we're watching a disturbance here moving into the Gulf, which has a 30% chance of additional development. So let's get right to it. We're talking a lot about the tropics because, hey, it's October, and we're still rolling through hurricane season. As we look at those tropical systems, Kurt now a hurricane with winds of 125 miles per hour, a Category 3 hurricane expected to become a Category 4 before it turns over into cooler waters and then weakens down to a category two. In addition to that, there's Leslie winds at 45 miles per hour, a tropical storm, and then expected to become at least a category one and a category two hurricane as it moves right behind the same path that Kirk is going to take. The good news is neither of those will be a problem for us here in the southeast. Let's now get in and talk about what's going on with this disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico. So as it continues to move, there's still thinking this area right in the Gulf only has about a 30% chance of developing into a named system. So there's something there. They're just not able to really kind of hone in on it. And so for now, as we look at what a lot of our forecast models are saying, I'm just going to give you one particular one. It, this black line here that's very wide, that's an indication of a broad area of low pressure, not a small, tight, compact area, which is what a tropical system or a named tropical system would look like. We do know that there will be a lot of rain for folks in Florida. So this is Monday morning at about 10. Notice that we continue to put this into motion and we take it to your morning hours on Tuesday at about 9. Notice there's still a lot of rain in parts of Florida and then that rain tries to take a little bit of a jog up the East Coast, keeping some showers for us in some of our coastal communities. We get to Wednesday and then we start to see that broad area of low pressure. It tries to get better organized, but nonetheless, it starts to shift down to the south. The good news is we get high pressure steering currents from the north, helping to kind of push it to the south and shift it away from us. That's what we always want this time of year. We always keep a close eye on steering currents, which are really going to be your deep ridges of high pressure. They help to kind of steer these tropical systems to or from areas. And with this happening, this is certainly something that's good. It's trending the way we want it to trend. And with us being in October, let's go ahead and talk about it. We are still talking about out where we are in the season. The season will continue on coast until November 30th. And so for today, we're past the peak, so we're getting close to the end, but we're not quite there yet. So still have these little impulses here, which show us a little bit of uptick in activity in the tropics. So we just went through one of those. We're expected to go down a little bit in that activity, just based on historical data. And then it could come back up before we reach the end. So we're still keeping an eye on that. And just to go ahead and put it in perspective for you, not quite as many storms as they were originally thinking. That's because we had a 20 27 day stretch where we did not have any named storms to develop. And just in case you were kind of watching the season, that was from August 13th to about September 8th. And that was the time between Ernesto and Francine. So October hurricanes are still big ones. So we're keeping an eye on it. We've had some big ones in the past, especially Matthew for us in 2016. All right, let's take a look at your first alert 10 day forecast. 85 is where we're going for your day today. Should be pretty warm. Watch that humidity value coming up too. 83 for you tomorrow. More clouds, a couple of showers, and then over the weekend, a warm couple of days out here, but it should be nice for outdoor events and activities for those who may be enjoying some football.